beloved in Christ, you know in a time like this, with so very much going on and so much confusion that is out there, one of the focus that you and I need more than anything, and that is growing in the grace of God. Growing in His grace, not our own grace, not our own ability, or how we perceive or we ought to do in this life, but rather growing in God's grace. The Word of God says in 2 Peter 3.18, But grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory both now and forever. Amen. 2 Peter 3.18 Grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our Savior. And to Him be the glory and uh, the honor forever and ever. Beloved, how do we grow in the grace of God? The only way that you, can, uh, you and I can grow in the grace of God is to grow in the understanding and the knowledge of our salvation. What is our salvation? Because that's where our connection is with God's grace. He is, salvation is, He is constantly saving us. So as He's constantly saving us, we are growing in that knowledge, we are growing in that understanding of what He is doing in our lives. So each and every day, we take a step forward in our growth in His grace. Salvation is the work of God and not man. It is not the work of man for God. Amen? Did you get that? Salvation is the work of God for man. It is not the work of man for God or the works that man is doing for God. And many religions have got caught up in that. It is what I can do for God determine the growth of my salvation, the growth of me as an individual. No, beloved, you grow in grace and you grow in faith. And that means each and every day I'm trusting him just a little bit more. And so I'm growing in the grace of God. Salvation is the imputed or given righteousness of God. Not the imperfect righteousness of man. Because our righteousness is as filthy rags. But salvation was imputed unto us by the righteousness of of God. So God's righteousness we become. So as a believer, you are righteous because of what Christ did, not because of your good deeds, not because of your own imperfect righteousness. And so when we understand that, we are growing more in our salvation and understanding our salvation. And as I said in a previous study, we ought not be ignorant of this truth. Salvation is according to the faithful calling of God. God calling you. No man can come to the Father unless, come to the Son, lest the Father calls and draws him to the Son. He cannot come on his own. Amen? And it is not the faithful living of man. Salvation is according to the faithful calling of God and not the faithful living of man. So everything that I do, everything I put on the scale, everything that I think that will assure my salvation, then it actually takes away 
from my knowledge and understanding of salvation. Amen? The more that I try to do, the more that I put on the scale, the more that I think that somehow what I'm doing is the righteousness of God, the more so, beloved, I find myself separated and not understanding the fullness of what salvation is. So salvation is according to the faithful calling of God unto His Son, you unto his son, rather than the faithful living of man. Many will not enter into the kingdom of heaven because they have decided to do this on their own. And it might be commendable to a lot of people. But beloved, it is not the truth. The truth is built in faith in Christ. And that alone. Salvation is a divine reconciliation. It is not a human regulation. Salvation is a divine reconciliation. You divinely instituted and placed in the body of Christ. It is not the regulation of man who chooses and jumps in the body of Christ. Beloved, it does not work that way, but rather it is the divine reconciliation. It is God, through Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. He's reconciling you and I with him. But beloved, in our own strength, in our own power, we cannot do this. And that's what religion in itself does. It makes man believes by literally putting a wool over his eyes and says, follow me. If you follow these regulations, you follow these rules, if you act like we act, if you stay and be faithful with us, then and then alone will you be allowed into the presence and the fellowship with God. Because we have it here. And you can't get it nowhere else. Beloved, that is untrue and that is a lie. Because salvation is a divine reconciliation between you and the Father. Beloved, know that. That you can grow in grace by simply recognizing and knowing that you are growing in your understanding of your relationship through your salvation that God has given you. Because it is tied into God's amazing grace. Beloved, the Lord love you. The Lord bless you. And you keep calling upon his name. In Jesus' name, be blessed this day.